I was dreaming of chocolate and butterflies when I started itching my hands. Ah, it's coming back. The floor, the floor. The bed bug. It's gonna be alright, son. Aren't you supposed to help me with my bed bug problems? Not supposed to pity me. Tell me again, what exactly happened? Okay, okay. I was dreaming of chocolate and butterflies when I started itching my hand. Then I looked down and the bed bug was slowly creeping up my hand. So I dialed 911. The fire department arrived, and that's how I ended up in therapy. The bed bugs aren't that horrible, even if they're nocturnal, cold blooded, blood sucking monsters. <laughs> the next session, session two. Thank you for coming back, Bill. They made me come here for treatment. Who, Bill? The bed bugs did. I was surprised for you, Phil. What is it? <gasps> Where'd you get those? Never mind that. There's a lot of good traits of bed bugs I don't think you are aware of. How many times a year do you wash your sheets and comfort her? Maybe once if my mother comes to visit. Aha! That's why you have bed bugs. You need to change your sheets and comforters at least once every two months. Maybe I have been a little lazy. I think this helps a little bit. Well, you better clean up quickly because if you don't, they will destroy your house. How? They get behind the wallpaper, tear away the paint, and then the wall. You need to get cracking. I'm going to go home now and change my sheets and comforter. Session three. I was researching last night on the internet about bed bugs and I found out their scientific name. Climax Electrolarius. That's a very good song. This parasite could be bad as you experienced it, but it also has a good side to it. For example, doesn't your mother have a good and bad side? I guess so. Always think positive. I have a mission for you. I am going to schedule an appointment for you and Bedbug to meet at 5 o'clock today. Oh no, are you crazy? Calm. <laughs> Calm down. No! Jeez. Session 4, the Bedbug meeting. Hey, Mr. Bedbug. Pleasure to meet you. Sup? I want you guys to talk about your conflicts. So, start first. Tell us your opinions of, of the bed bug. After that, Mr. Bedbug will tell us about your opinions about humans. I'll start off. First of all, why do you have to take over my bed like that? I can't sleep anymore because of all the itching you've caused me. I love you, humans. You guys provide me with a warm, cozy place to live. My poor wife can't travel since she lays 1 to 12 eggs per day. We especially like the dirty beds where nobody can see us in the filth. That's why I can never really get rid of the bed bugs. They multiply so quickly. That's why you, Philip, need to clean up your room immediately. I see. I guess it's mostly my fault. I think I've lost my fear of you guys. I'm in control. Thanks a lot, Dr. Jane. See ya, bed bug.